Sup YouTube official gaming network and welcome to episode 3 of our Mario in Java tutorial. Last episode we actually created our resolution and what we're going to multiply our current resolution by but we haven't actually multiplied it yet. So we're going to actually do s create something called dimensions and if you don't know what a dimension is well it's pretty much what we're going to use for our frame so a dimension it'll take uh, two integers and we can use those integers to and add it to our frame so we want to go I'm just going to type something here then I'll explain it so just type public you should know what public means public game now you're wondering why the hell are we typing public game? Well, as I said before, or in the first episode, if you're if you're calling it something main, you have to type public main or public game, whatever you're calling it. So this has to be the same as your class name, otherwise you'll get an error. So look, I'll type public main, it won't work, because there's no such thing as main. But there is such thing as a game. So public game. You now, why we actually create a public game is when we create a game object, this will sort of be the code in our game object. Like, like every object needs to have code in it. Like, for example, when we create a dimension, our dimension is actually a class, and where, and our dimension has code, and our game sort of object needs to have code, and that's what's going to be. And, that's, and the code for it is going to be there. So I'm going to go game, game, equals new game. It's just going to take whatever code is in here. Okay. So I want to create a dimension object. So we want to go dimension. I want to go, let's call it size. We're creating a dimension called size. And that's equal to a new dimension. Now this is an object if it's an object then it has a little circle but for some reason I like to think of the circle as an object for some reason that's sort of the way I learnt it when I learned I just sort of think I think of this circle as an object as the object the whole object I don't know why I just do so we get an error and you're wondering why then if you don't know this then you're probably thinking oh then dimension is a thing let's go create a new class and hmm, we're maybe gonna call it dimension, you know. No, no, okay? Calm down, do not create any other class called dimension. We actually need to import it. If you hover over it, it says dimension can we, cannot be resolved into a type. Uh, we can create a class called dimension, but we can also import dimension. And we wanna click that. The reason why we need to import it is because Let's say if we create a class in the same package as this, we don't need to import it because it's already there. But dimension isn't already there, so we need to import it. And that's one of the like built-in classes into Java in the java.ort package. So if we let's say if we import player, it's going to be import com.tutorial.mario.player or whatever. So, but this package is called java.org.dimension. So, yeah. So, now we've created our object. We need to actually set the size of it. But, we need, to, as I said before, we need to give our dimension parameters. If we just leave it like that, our dimension is going to be nothing. So, when we put the dimension into our frame, or if we add it into our frame, like, it's not even going to be there. It's, it's going to be, like, pretty much... There's going to be no frame at all. So I want to put our dimension, our width, is going to be width times scale. And that's where we start multiplying our current resolution by our scale. So then we want to put a comma and height times scale. And now we set our width and height. Now we just need to set the sizes. So we want to type set preferred size equal to size but we actually get an error because we can create a method called set preferred size but 
this thing, we actually need to extend something in our class. And I'm just going to type after our public class game, we want to type extends canvas. Now we need to import canvas, just like we had to import dimension. And now it goes away. And what canvas is, it pretty much allows us to sort of play with our frame and actually display stuff onto our frame. All right. So that's very important. We want to do that. And now we want to type set maximum size. Whoops, is equal to size then set minimum size is equal to size. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up this tutorial here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And next episode we'll we might be getting into actually creating our frame. That's going to be exciting. So, yeah, as I said before, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos like this. I'll see you guys soon.